a problem. I think of the people in my family. My dog is a person, but he's still a member of the family. Being furry doesn't stop him from being a hatcher. <laughs> Good dog. Bob, well, look how they should be used. Well, they don't call them St. Bernard's for nothing. Oh, I forgot to buy oatmeal. There. Sure, they the best looking thing I ever saw. Hey. Hey. Stick with that. That's more like it. Well, what time is that reptile show you're going to this morning, Peter? By 11. But Jimmy's dad wants to get there early so we can watch him feed mice to the big snake. Mmm. You don't want to miss that. So you better finish up there with Turtle and please get the laundry from your room. They must be Jimmy. <laughs> Almost ready, it's almost feeding time. Okay, yeah, I just gotta get my dirty on you. I'll do two, please. Oh, man. What are you talking about? This is crazy. If my dad ever saw my room looking like this, he would lock the door and throw away the key. Wake me inside. Well, this room would be perfectly fine for this going down this year. Where is Fudge anyway? A haircut in a baby movie with my dad. Poor dad. Oh, look at that stuff. It's totally toxic. Don't forget the stuff under Fudge's bed. It's like she could see through walls. I heard that. You're seeing your too. Please, I don't even have to touch it. Hey, Jimmy, where's your dad? Oh, hi, Mr. Thatcher. We're meeting him in the lobby at 10 Oh, well, so I might watch it at 10.30 too. Come on, we're gonna be late. Okay. Borderlands, here we come. Come on, let's go. Are you sure you don't want to come, Mom? Oh, no, I've got plenty of chores to keep me busy here. Okay, come on, let's go. All of which look pretty good compared to a reptile show. Oh yeah, Mom, everyone's just fine. All right, I'll be sure to give them all your love. See you next week. Hey, Mom, look at this. Oh, well, Peter, that's, um... Horrible! Oh, this is terrible! How did... Get the lizard. How did Ruffy get in the dryer? Oh, I didn't see him when I put the clothes in the hamper. I didn't see him when I put the clothes in the dryer. I didn't see him when I put the clothes in the washing machine. Well, I guess he must have just climbed in there himself then. Jimmy, this is serious. It's not so bad. A little duct tape in here will be as good as new. You're going to wish you lived in another building. On another planet when Fudge sees this. Well, Fudge can't see this. Fudge can't see this. Let's try to put the pieces together. Mom! Look at my new hair, Mom! It looks great, Fudge. Sorry, sweetie, he accidentally got put in the washer, and you know he has to be hand-washed, but I know you have other stuffed animals you like, too. Well, maybe not as much. I'm really sorry, sweetie. What do you say we go right now and see if they have a wonderful new monkey around and, the corner of the toy store? And stop to breathe. Oh. I don't want it out of my... I want Robin! I don't want it out of my... I'll go get that duct tape. I told him I'd have Rumpy sewed back together, but he wouldn't listen to me. Well, maybe he'd listen to a bowl of chocolate ice cream. I don't think there's enough ice cream in the world. Well, 
I'm out of ideas, Dan. Poor Fudge. He really loved Rumpy. I know how much I loved my duck when I was his age. Hey, Mom! I've got an idea. Well, I lent Fudge my duck for a while. You mean you'd be willing to let Fudge use Ducky? It's really no big deal. I'm too old for a stuffed animal anyway. This might work. Anything's worth a try until Rumpy gets sick. Okay, let's move it. Hey, Fudge. I'm really sorry about Rumpy. Are you ready for this, Peter? Yeah. Ready for what? Fudge. Would you like to have my ducky for a while? Ducky? Ducky was my favorite, but if you promise to take good care of him. Thanks, Pete. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's quite unattractive, isn't it? Well, Yes, but Fudge loves it. Wouldn't Fudge rather have one of these charming clowns that I make for the children at the hospital? Oh, well, that's very sweet, Mrs. Reese, but Fudge is really attached to this monkey. Okay. Well, maybe I can uh, sew it back together, but I can see that there are parts missing here. Uh, I'll just have to use whatever I have on hand. Uh, Thank you so much, Mrs. Ruiz. I'm sure that you will have him back to his old self in no time at all. Maybe even better. Fudge. Quack. He doesn't say go whack. He says quack. Like a normal dog. No, he doesn't. He just says quack. Dougie likes me better than he likes you. I doubt it. Ducky loves me. Did you quit slobbering all over him? He's getting all wet. So, he's a duck. Fudge, why don't you go play with Ducky somewhere else? Okay, B, I think I'll give him a bath. Fudge, he can't get wet. He's a duck. Thanks for helping out with Fudge. He seems perfectly happy with Ducky. Yeah, but is Ducky perfectly happy with Fudge? Well, Mrs. Ruiz said that she'd have Rumpy fixed by tomorrow so you can have him back then. I don't need him back, Mom. I know. Ducky, isn't that your duck fudge you're playing with? Yeah, I let him use it while his stupid monkey thinks this. I'm too old for it anyway. Yeah, I still have my Tigger from when I was a kid. I don't play with it anymore. Much? Well, maybe every now and then. That duck looks really familiar. Haven't I seen it before? Isn't that your duck fudge is playing with, Peter? What? I gave it to Fudge. Oh, when he's getting it all dirty. So, unlike some people I won't mention, I'm too mature to care about old baby toys. Wow. Fudge! Stop stomping on that duck! 
Okay, Pete. Oh no, you don't care about him at all. It's a good thing too. Oh, look. I sure hope he gets that duck back in one piece. So do I. I hate to see a grown ten-year-old cry. Want some water chocolate? Sure, 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 I love it. I finished those dishes, Mom. Oh, thanks, Pete. That's a big help. Come the big... I'll get them. There, now that's what I hope. And here's oh, what I call you. Oh, okay. uh, you Oh, Mrs. Ruiz, am I happy to see you. Me too. I just finished Fudge's monkey. I wrapped it in some tissue paper like I do for the children at the uh, hospital. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Ruiz. Oh, no, no, don't thank me. I was so pleased to be able to put him together again. I'm going to mend my other dolls in the same fashion. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Won't you come in? No, I can't. I have to go back to the others. The dolls. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Fudge, I've got a surprise for you. What is it? Oh, my goodness. It's the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Couldn't Mrs. Ruiz do a wonderful job? Yeah, but what is it? It's your best for Lumpy. I know what I was talking about. I guess it's all up to me now. Because one way or another, I'm getting that duck back. Hey, Fudge, I bet there's a lot of other things you'd like better than Ducky. You think so, be? Sure. Like what? He says no one knows. I can't get the dryer to work. I think it's got lumpy fur stuck in it. Okay. Right, I'll come up as soon as I'm finished here. Oh, thanks. How's it going? Okay. Oh, okay. right. Look at these. Aren't they charming? These are my new clown creations for the children at the hospital. What a special idea, Mrs. Ruiz. Yes, I know. Just hope the kids aren't too sick. Well, that should really cheer them up. Maybe Peter would like to have one. How is it going? Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Good. She's so sweet. And that is so ugly. You know what? I'm going to just run right around the corner of the grocery store. Would you take this up to Peter for me? Do I have to? One, 
that um I eat though these are neat ones. I count before I eat ten million, so they really you know Dryer. Dryer. And uh, another release original. <laughs> Hi, Sarge. Hi, Ducky. Colac. Hey, you want this? Mm, no. Quack. Quack. That is quack. Hey, this is the Ducky learned to count. Sure he did, Feather Brain. And Turtle just won the Nobel Prize for Physics. He did. Listen, Fudge. When you get to be a big guy like me, you don't play with baby pretend games with stuffed animals anymore. But since you're still a baby, I am not a baby. I'm a big boy. Well, if you're a big boy, you're ready to give up your baby toys, right? Right. No baby toys for me, Pete. I'm just not sure. Maybe we should ask Ducky. Ducky, do you want to go back to Peter? No, but I never want to go back to Peter. He's crazy. But, uh, you'll never get this duck back, you big ball. Come here. Give me it. Come here. Come here. Have a body, then Rumpy can't have one either. No! <coughs> there, what do you think of that? I think now it's Rumpy. But it was always Rumpy's head. I know, but it wasn't all Rumpy. Now it is. Fudge, not a groom. Good night, Pete. No. Good night, Pete. Ugh. All right. Quack. Good night, Rumpy. Quack. Good night, Ducky. <laughs> 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 